In this short video, we are going to solve a problem about testing a claim about a mean using the normal distribution in StatCrunch. Perhaps the most important step in solving a problem like this is getting the null and alternative hypotheses right and recognizing which of them is the claim. In this problem, the administrator declares the mean score for her 8th graders is more than 260. From this, we learn two things. The claim is greater than, which is an inequality. Remember that the null always contains a form of equality, so the claim must be the alternative. Thus, the alternative hypothesis is HA mu greater than 260, and the null is the complement, or H sub 0, mu less than or equal to 260. The answer to the first question is choice A. To find the standardized statistic, or ZSTAT, we will use StatCrunch to click on STAT, ZSTAT, one sample with summary to open the dialog box. Enter the sample mean of 265, the standard deviation of 40, the sample size of 80, down in the perform area, we're going to make sure we click on the hypothesis test for the mean mu and enter our null, which is 260, the value. Notice that populates the alternative also to be 260. Now it's important at this point to make certain that we set the null appropriately. This is a right tail test, so we select greater than in the drop down box. We click on compute and we get the results of the test. The test for the mean is shown as restated there the mean of the population with the null being mu is equal to 260 and the alternative mu is greater than 260. You might notice that the null is stated as an equality rather than less than or equal. This is because testing for the equality represents the worst case value. If the test is significant for the equality, it is also significant for all values less than 260. The test shows us that the ZSTAT is 1.12 and the p-value is 0 0.132. Now I mentioned earlier about the importance of getting the alternative correctly. To see how it changes things, click on Options, Edit, we're back in the dialog box, and we're going to select this time alternative to be the inequality. Click on Compute. We see that the ZSTAT doesn't change, and that makes sense because our data have not changed, but the p-value is now 0.264, double the value of the correct answer. And the reason for this is that when the alternative is an equality like this, this test becomes a two-tailed test, and thus the probability of the calculation gets larger. We can also go back to Options, Edit, and put in less than, click on Compute, and now we see again the ZSTAT hadn't changed of course, but the p-value is 0.868. Now you should recognize that that's the complement of the correct value of 0.132 because in this test, the less than, we're looking at all the area of the curve to the left of 260, which is 1 minus 0.132 or 0.868. Okay, let's just go back, edit, click on the, the correct greater than, compute, and now you have the values that you need to go ahead and finish the problem.